was proclaimed. So we all are grateful for his visionary leadership and commitment. And we all are grateful to such a visionary Australia. Doc Evatt was a global champion for advancing the rights and interests of small, smaller nations and speaking up for social justice. Article 56 of the United Nations Charter, uh, which underscores economic and social development and human rights, bears his distinct imprint. Thanks to his work, it is known as the Australian Pledge. Through the years, Australia has continued to advance our common values across many parts of the world. You have helped to diffuse tensions in the region, including Timor Leste, Bougainville, and the Solomon Island through Ramsey Initiative. You are the first country to contribute troops to the United Nations peacekeeping mission. Ever since, your troops, your young men and women, keeping peace, have served the cause of peace from Cambodia to Cyprus and to Afghanistan. And Australia has been a pivotal force on many of the leading issues of our age, tackling global poverty, advancing millennial development goals, promoting disarmament, and the world free of nuclear weapons. These 21st century challenges are too big for any country or region to solve alone. The world is too connected. Our fates too are intertwined. We need each other. Australia gets it. Your leadership in the region around the world shows that. My sense from my travels is that people around the world get it. And they expect leaders to speak out and to work together. To solve the problems, to build a common ground, and to provide them, as Australians put it so well, a fair go in life. A fair go in life. I know there is a lot of competing noise out there. In times of great transition, in moments of dramatic change, there is no shortage of things 